Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a deck review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. It is Monday. It's the beginning of the week. Welcome to your week. Welcome to the first day of the week. Today we're doing a deck review. This is a brand new deck from Gemini Decks, hot off the press. I think these dropped Friday, right? I think these dropped last Friday. Um, let me just say, if you even remotely think you might want to pick this deck up, it's probably best if you just stop watching this video right now and go to Gemini Decks and see if they have any left, because that is how fast cards at GeminiDecks.com sell out. Uh, sometimes I'll get them in the mail, <laughs> and even before I do a review, they're already sold out. Gemini Decks, very popular. Tomas Pinson, uh, he just has his finger on the pulse of what uh, Cardis and uh, Flourishers like. So this is Goblin Ghost. All right, the Goblin Ghost deck. I think this is the third one in the Goblin series, I believe. Uh, the first one was just green. It was the Green Goblin. And then there was Goblin Gold. I suppose there was a the Goblin Gold that was gilded. Uh, but uh, this is Goblin Ghost, and it's all done in lime green. It's got this electric lime green, black and purple. It kind of looks almost like the uh, Goblin deck married the Ultra Green deck. There was an Ultra Green deck a while back. The tuck case is all done in purple. That black lime green, the pattern, simply just wraps all the way around. It says Goblin Ghost down there in the corner. The bottom has some ad copy about Gemini and Tomas Pinson. The top is blank. There's no tuck seal. That's everything I can say about the tuck case. Let's break it open. Let's look at the cards. The Goblin deck is a borderless deck. It's uh, all the way to the edges. It's a full bleed artwork. Features an eye-catching back design with complex interlacing wavy lines designed from the ground up to give you very beautiful fans for cardistry and flourishing. First off with this deck, you'll get two extra cards. They are both advertisement cards. One is an advertisement for GeminiDecks.com and the other simply says they were designed by Tomas Pinson. Also, you will get two identical jokers. It is a purple skull, cartoon skull face, and it says goblin in each corner. And I think you've noticed by now that the faces on these cards are black. Uh, your ace of spades is a smaller spade pip there in the center. It almost looks like it's caught on fire. It's done in the purple pattern, and it says goblin underneath in that electric green. Your face cards, pips and indice cards, uh, like I said earlier, have a black face. Uh, the black suits are the purple, and the red suits are the electric green. You're also going to see this kind of cigar band pattern that's in the corners that kind of adds to fans and spreads, as well as this little accent down here. So there's a couple of different accents that kind of create a pattern when you're doing your spreads and flourishes. You'll also notice that the goblin pattern is inside the pips. Your court cards are your standard courts, but they are ghost-like shadows, all done in a white outline and they've all been recolored in that popping purple and electric lime green. Well, that's just what the cards look like, but you also wanna know how these cards feel, how these cards handle. Uh, of course, they're made by the United States Playing Card Company, which means they're awesome because Bicycle makes the best cards on the planet. 10 cards in the caliper comes to 2.75. 2.75 is a nice middle of the road deck, very similar to what you would get off the shelf if you went into your local retailer. 2.75 is kind of the middle uh, ground for a bicycle in between a thick bicycle stock and then a super thin crush stock. So that means these cards are going to have a lot of action, a lot of play. They're going to be rigid like a new deck of cards, but they'll still have a lot of action and be very springy like a broken in deck. All right, that's everything I can say about Goblin Ghost. GeminiDecks.com, Tomas Pinson. I want to thank Tomas and everyone down at Gemini Decks for allowing me to have this deck so that I could do the review for you and 
Why are you still watching this? You should be heading down to GeminiDecks.com right now. Fill up your shopping cart. They've got a lot of beautiful decks. Make sure you check out a couple of their other designs, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right. I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place, kid-friendly, where they can learn beginning level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like. Subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.